for you personally, what's progress? You see, all progress is change, but not all change is progress. All progress is change, but not all change is progress. If I have an upset stomach, my tummy hurts. Oh, I need change. Oh, this guy changed. My stomach hurts. I need change. And somebody hears me, walks up the stairs, jumps over here and pops me in the nose. Is that change? Yes, yeah, change. It's not progress. At least not to me. Maybe you guys. Shut him up. Let me say it another way. Those of you in this room who are single, or maybe just plan on being single, I don't know your plan. I don't know. It sounds like a different presentation, but no, let's just go with the single people. The single people. Those of you who are single, have you ever said, I mean, I'd like to meet somebody new? And then, you, and then you met somebody new? And you're like, oh, no, not, not that person new. And you walk into a room full of opportunity and you're like, Ooh, that, that's change. Oh, that's change. That's change. Hey, that's progress. See, it's all in the way we size it up in our minds as either progress or change. In my vernacular, in my systems, everything we do, consciously or subconsciously, we do because we believe the perceived consequences of those actions are that we're going to feel the unique right mixture of, to us, what I call the six P's of progress. Pleasure, peace of mind, profit, prestige, pain avoidance, and power. It's the basis of how we make decisions. It's the way other people make decisions as to if they are and are going to choose to relate to us. We're going to be going to break in just a little bit. And when we do, I hope that you won't just go to lunch, but you'll also find a way to connect with each other. But when we do, it's not about meeting someone new. It's about meeting someone who we believe can be progress. So we've all met people who would have been great to have fantastic relationships with. We met them, but we didn't build a priceless business relationship with them because it takes a series of what I call progress-based impressions that every time we connect with them, including the first time, including the first time that we're making progress-based impressions. That's what, a, that's what a smile on our face is. That's what a firm handshake is. You ever gotten a dead fish handshake? Yeah? You want to avoid that? That's the pain avoidance. What's the smile? Ever been told it was good to smile? There's the second thing. If you didn't know, it, Blockbuster opens at 10 and it's good to smile. Everybody's been, been told that, but why? Why is it good to smile? The reason it's good to smile is because when you smile, you're giving the other person a little bit of pleasure. It's very common for them to smile right back at us. Back in the old days, they used to have mirrors. You know, you'd go to a customer service program that actually give you a mirror that said smile and dial. But it all comes back down to that. How are we positioned in the other person's mind? It's not about them knowing us. It's about how they view us. It's do they view us as progress? Do they be believe that we can bring to them? Do they believe our products and services can bring to them the unique right mixture to them of pleasure, peace of mind, profit, prestige, pain avoidance, and power? 